Uh, we know a few people have asked us about kind of what we use to film while we're doing all this and what we use for our vlog. We thought we'd break it down, keep it brief. If you have questions, there'll certainly be links to everything in the description. Yes. But let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to No Ordinary Path. I'm John, this is my beautiful wife Kristen, and we have spent the last year and a half traveling in our 37 foot travel trailer named Wendy while I take travel nurse contracts around the United States. Today we are doing another Real Talk Tuesday for you. We like to bring you like informational things on Tuesdays and then you can follow our journey on the weekends. If you're new here also, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below so that we can say welcome to the channel. Please hit the thumbs up, that helps us out on the videos too, and ring that bell for further notifications. hit the road we wanted to make a YouTube channel mostly for our friends and family so they could follow our journey but what we didn't know is how much we would appreciate documenting for ourselves yeah we still go back our kids love to go back and watch our experiences and it's amazing what documenting does for your memories because in the heat of the moment you might start to be like oh I'm tired I'm hungry I'm hangry the kids are fighting this is awful and then you like look back later and you're like wow we did some really amazing things and well i mean like i think that was like you had that experience in yellowstone just a little oh bit. yeah absolutely right um i was kind of disappointed with yellowstone <gasps> i know the shame you wouldn't know it by the video yeah um i was disappointed by the number of people and just it was just raining it was relentless the rain was relentless and it's still raining i was having a hard time I'll be honest. And you're gonna learn about the hard time in our blooper reel. It's coming soon. There's gonna be a blooper reel just for Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> it was epic. It was epic. But like the cool thing about this is we rewatched that video and how'd you yeah. feel? Well now I'm like, oh yeah, that was so cool. Like that bison walked right by our car. And you know, even though the kids were like screaming two seconds earlier, that was really cool. <laughs> so documenting kind of gives, you know, not only our chance to share all this stuff with you guys, which we yeah. really learned to enjoy, but it's beneficial yes. for us too. Totally. And as our channel has grown, we have really enjoyed sharing our journey with you guys. Our equipment has grown also. No matter what you use though, the important thing is to just get started. Start documenting. Oh, yeah. Whether you are printing them out and making scrapbooks like I used to do a while back or you can um, there's lots of companies out there that bind books together for you with your digital pictures so you never even have to print them. Mm -hmm. um, or like a, a blog, we had a blog for like a decade. Or a YouTube channel. Or a YouTube channel, yeah. right? Even if, uh, even if it's not about the subscriber count and you just wanna like store your memories. Yeah. YouTube stores them for you. <laughs> which yeah, is nice. Pretty great. <laughs> so with that, we know a few people have asked us about kind of what we use to film while we're doing all this and what we use for our vlog. And it's not all laid out before you. Obviously something's recording, but we thought we'd break it down, keep it brief. If you have questions, there'll certainly be links to everything in the description. Yeah. I'm gonna clear the table and we'll show you what we had in the beginning. So yes. ready? <gasps> Pow! This was it, you guys. If you go back and watch like the first several episodes right uh yeah like probably months we, we had two cell phones you guys and then we had this gopro that was years old this is ready for it a hero three plus and it is old school yeah but it served us well and that's all we needed to get started if you've been with us since the beginning you might be able to tell the difference in quality but we've come <laughs> a little ways shortly after this we decided we need to have some kind of like handheld tripod ish thing that could accommodate all of our equipment. Yep. All three of our equipments. <laughs> yep. And we bought pow. We, <laughs> wait, wait, try that again, ready? We bought pow. <laughs> Photo Pro to the rescue. This is a bendy, like handheld tripod. I think it was one of our Friday faves on our Facebook account. Still one of my favorite ones. Yeah. Use it all the time. It's amazing. So the thing is, is it can hold your phone. And then you can take this doohickey off. 
basically it comes with a bunch of little attachments yeah. and things like that and yeah. you can stick your gopro on it yeah so super easy you can set it up as a tripod or you can attach well, it well and i mean like we would hang it from trees yeah. and all sorts of gosh it's been on the roofs of cars oh this is my absolute favorite find <laughs> this is what i lovingly call the aldi gopro yes. now it's not it's it's imaginum I don't know how to say it. Basically, it is a small action camera that we literally bought at Aldi grocery yeah. store. One day I'm shopping and I'm like, babe, hey, there's an action, there's an camera, action here. camera here for like 60 bucks. <laughs> um, and you know what? I'll be honest, it actually does a decent job. It is yeah. a straight b-roll camera it sits on the outside of the rig this is some of the ones that we get shots going down the road with it hanging off the side of the rig or hanging up on the top um it does shoot in 4k and has wi-fi and that kind of stuff but for like a 60 or 70 dollar little action camera it it, it worked yeah. pretty well and one of the things we needed right off the bat was better stabilization yes. Kristen's phone did have it but it still wasn't really smooth especially if we were trying to walk and talk at the same time or on the beach running around that kind of stuff and i remember when we got this the first couple of beach scenes were at San Diego. Yes. And Ethan was running down the beach. Yes. So guys, it took that long for us to upgrade to, to something. To, to this. It, it stabilizes the phone. So you can see how it's pointing in the same direction. That's that's the stabilization. So I can run all over the place. This is the Zune, I think is how you say it. It's really an interesting name, Smooth 4. It's a little more complicated, but it, it works great for us. Honestly, it yeah. really does. So we knew we wanted to upgrade the audio next. And then, uh, yeah, we tried that in a couple of different ways. We went a couple different routes. This was the first one. I don't recommend it. It didn't, yeah. it didn't work very well. I got this little, like, it's you know. It's a wireless mic. Britney it has a lapel. Spears mic. <laughs> and um, it's a wireless set and does have a lapel with it. And then after two failed mic attempts, we decided we should up the game a little bit. So we got went to Rode, and for those of you that don't know, that's a quality mic company. Now, we still didn't want to spend a fortune, you know, fortune. So we got this little one, because we are still using the cell phones, yep. you guys. We didn't have a bigger camera or anything like that yet. It's still all on what we had. So this is the Video Mic Me, um, and it literally just, well, mine doesn't have a phone jack, which is part of the issue. Um, so yeah, it literally just plugs right into the phone jack, and you've got like a mini shotgun mic. Yeah. It also has what I lovingly refer to as the dead kitten. Um, we'll get to why it's called a kitten in a little bit, but that, yeah. And honestly, that works pretty good. It really does it work does. pretty good. The kitten helps with the wind noise, and we've used this a couple type places. I know we used it when we were climbing on the um, Skull Rocks and Joshua Tree. I'm just very thankful for the people that have volunteered their time to keep this place open. It's yeah. really amazing here. Yeah. However, this didn't work so hot with the gimbal because it made it was too heavy. Yeah. So it wouldn't stabilize. So we always use it on my phone because it had the pre-built stabilization. Had the built-in stabilization. All of this stuff was working pretty well for us, but we had this major goal that when we finally monetize our channel, yeah. that we would upgrade our uh, camera. Yes. So, All the things: audio, yes. camera, everything. Yes. So. We upgraded by purchasing this camera. Um, as you can probably tell, the quality is a little bit different. We are on my cell phone right now on that gimbal, but this is Canon EOS M50. It's the mirrorless Canon. Um, it is the, I think, 15 to 45 lens um, that's got a UV filter on it right now. And then so we bought this in a kit, and in the kit there were several different things. This little tripod, this lighting system that we're using right now. It had several of these UV filters. It came with this bag. There was a bunch of other little like camera cleaning equipment, stuff like that that came with it. But also, this up here was another purchase that was separate too. Um, this thing <laughs> attracts way more attention than anything else in our setup. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro. Um, it, it's fantastic. The audio on this thing is amazing. Um, right now, what is on it right now is called the Dead Cat. That is the actual trademark name for that windscreen, thus the Dead Kitten. <laughs> so it, uh, yeah, it works fantastic. That mic, we can be out in the wind. You'll hear it maybe a tiny little bit, but it, it upgraded everything so well. 
Um, it's still a fairly intro level camera in terms of like some of the vloggers and stuff that are out there. But for us right now, the size of it is just excellent and it's very portable. And so we use that to do most of our filming. The next GoPro. So now we have three. This is the Hero 7 Black. They just came out with the Hero 8. Yay! Yeah, months out, like a few months after. Just a few months it. afterwards. Um, this one was mainly bought for the stabilization, stabilization features that it has built into it. Um, Can I interject? Sure. It's specifically, the reason we pulled the trigger on it was because we wanted to do the Cinder episode. The Cinder episode. If you missed it, check it out up here. It's fantastic. We wanted to get this in conjunction with this. Uh, this is the dog mount. Uh, that goes on her, goes like on this, the harness, yeah. on the harness, yeah, the dog harness, so it sits on her back or it can sit down low on her chest. So that is mostly it, except for, was it my birthday? Your birthday! Yeah. You've been wanting a drone since oh, yeah. we started the oh whole God. channel, and I was like, no. It makes such we epic fought footage. the urge, These, this entire 18 months, we have fought the urge to buy every gadget that yeah. we want. Um, it looks like we have a lot of gadgets, but really... Well, we have accumulated a decent amount, yeah. but it's been over a over period of time. time. And you finally got your drone. I did go with DJI. They have probably the best reputation in the industry. This is the, one of their smallest models. This is the DJI Spark. It works great. It flies well. It, and this also was a kit. It came with this, two batteries, the whole charging system, the remote. It was, it was wonderful. And I did get some epic footage right off the bat. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I'm and then, flying it over the ocean. And then I was rushed super late one night by an angry wife to get footage before the sun goes down. Pulled in, I was flying it at the tree line above trees. I did get some footage of kind of the sun going down and I was on the way down trying to get the last shot that I wanted. And I kind of was coming around this corner and I clipped a branch, it was dusk, I couldn't see it. And this drone is has a reputation for being built like a tank. And I will say it is pretty tough. Um, but it fell probably 60 feet out of the air, maybe more than that. And Aaron runs over to it and uh, when, when he gets to it, he holds up two pieces. And what happened is I ended up breaking off an, an, a whole arm with the motor ripping apart. It was bad. I had to send it into DJI. Um, it was a relatively painless process. It did cost another $100 to get it fixed, but it is a pivotal point to our footage and I do just love it um and we just got it back we just which is why we just you got haven't it back seen any drone footage in the last couple well that and like you can't fly at the yellowstone so <laughs> yeah you can't fly you can't fly in any national parks there's a lot yeah. of flight rules and stuff like that these are um they came at the recommendation of kyd and yep. um which a lot of our stuff is but these are terabyte drives and they're kind of bomb proof yeah. they are the bomb i store everything on these kinds of drives. Um, it's also nice because I can pop it back and forth between my computer and John's computer. If something goes wrong with mine, I can work on the project on John's computer. We, we use the Adobe Creative Cloud yeah. to, to edit, mostly with a Premiere Pro. Right. Uh, we started with Wondershare Filmora, mm -hmm. which is a great program if you're brand new to things and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money because the Adobe um, Creative Cloud is a monthly service charge. Yep. So. Yep. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that because editing could be an entire another video on its own. Yeah. And and this is the cameras and all the fun stuff, guys. But let me tell you, there's boxes of uh, accessories. Accessories. There are the GoPro accessories are, are crazy. All the little things that come with them and things like that. Yeah. Chargers and cables and yeah. That's so we have a lot of off brand accessories mm -hmm. that work just as well just as, as good the, you like, guys yeah, they're just so. as good as all the name brand stuff it's pretty amazing Pro how tip. well that works <laughs> thank you so much for being here with us we've shared a little bit about the journey with where we've come from from the start and so much of this is also thanks to you guys and the motivation to do all of this right on uh stay tuned for the yellowstone bloopers <laughs> oh yeah it's gonna be a riot yes <laughs>